What's up, my good peoples? Jake back with another video review and a PSA, my public service announcement in regards to this shoe right here. This is the replicated pair of or the third party factory rendition of the Air Jordan 1 Pollen. The retail shoe does not come, come out until August 7th. It was like for the 20th, but they pushed the date up to the 7th. Uh, I consider this my, uh, my birthday shoe uh, because my birthday is August 3rd. So yeah, I would get this for my birthday, even though it'd be after that. Was, I was like, yeah, I gotta get this for my birthday. But um, I guess as soon as the photos came out, you know, uh, you know, you know those factories got going. You know those replicate replicators started getting it going. So uh, this video is to show a detailed review of what's to come. Also, to watch out for these fake early reviews with these YouTubers, you know, trying to get these early reviews, trying to get views, uh, showing a fake shoe, saying they got the hookup from such and such or they were Jordan Brand, and also to watch out for the shoe plug the street hustler the street hustler saying yo i got these jays early so they're gonna crack you with the fufu shoes and hit you up for three four hundred dollars because i got this shoe early for you they do it don wax they do it i'm from the hood they do it big time all around just letting you know you don't think people will take this shoe and try to super, super make profit off of it. You think the resellers that sell legit shoes are bad? These cats are actually worse. The ones that do this are actually worse. So without further ado, I know I've been talking, but everybody skips through this because they just want to see the shoe and they don't understand where I'm, where I'm coming from. So this is the box. Typical Jordan 1 box. This is the label and look at that price tag. A buck 30. They don't know they don't know what's going on. We don't they don't know how Nike is going to present this. If it's going to come with this box, it's going to be different packaging, what the label is going to be, what, anything. So, they're just like we're going to make it happen. We're going to bring this thing out. So, this came with the other shoe as well and from other videos I've done, I had shoes that came with that so it's a specific factory that's oh this thing has a little bit of weight on it i might want to weigh these bad boys it does have a little bit of weight on them I pull these two out and they are every time i do pull out just one replicated shoe it has the ydm sticker the anti-mold sticker in here so every time i do just do one singular it looks good it looks all right let me give it that i don't smell a strong scent so let me see what's going on here. Uh, this one, I ate. I am not going to lie. It actually has... This is the closest Air Jordan 1 legit smell I've I've had on, on a fake Jordan 1. This one smells pretty good. It's pretty close. It's not as strong, but it's there. It's there. It has that Jordan 1 smell, shockingly. All right. So this is what we have to look forward to with the pollens. Of course, you know what these fakes scale, scale, scale. It does look a little bigger. It feels a lot heavier than I guess compared to what a retail pair would be. Look at that mud guard in the toe box with the boot cut. Very, very huge. Um, we're not, I'm not sure how to color, how deep that yellow or that pollen color is going to be on the retail pairs. Got the large swoosh, the large wings logo. But as a standalone shoe, it looks pretty good. White Nike Air, black swoosh, yellow tab. We have a little tumbled leather here. Soft leather. Give it a little spin around. Get a little spin a rooney. Book of tea. How the hourglass shape. We'll do a little lean test on it too. This box is a mess. I'm trying to keep it up here. Let's see if it can hold up. Doesn't look it, so guess what? That box is gone. Put them both together. I think someone else, I think Rupa, Rupa did this shoe. I think it's the same shoe because it had the same $130 price tag on it, on the box. 
So, and I don't think he uses uh, who I use to get these shoes. So that goes to show you right there that sites do not make shoes. I'm gonna tell you that again. Sites do not make shoes, none of them. They are middlemen. Middlemen for factories, point blank. Factories aren't gonna have their own distributors. They get people to distribute that for them. So okay, there's a pair of black laces. And I think there's what, some yellow laces? The yellow laces that come with. Alrighty, and the shoe tree is not a new school. This is this is the first batch, so I'm sure they will change them. Yellow Nike Air branding, black insole. Let's see if I could pull out the insole. Ah, all right, that is the insole. All right. Take a look at the production date on this. How about that? This shoe is going to be a problem on the official release. I'm telling you now, this shoe is going to be a problem. Production date's a little folded back here. I got it. Oh my gosh, my lighting. What are you doing when you try to rush stuff? So we have 12, 16, 20, and 2, 22, 21. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm digging the shoe. I'm digging the shoe when it comes out. I mean, as soon as I seen the the mock-up photos and the official photos of it, I was like, yeah, it's gonna be a problem. Like I tried to get those uh the the shucks is the Illinois, Iowa, those those uh those dunks, the black and yellow dunks. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna weigh these things. These these things feel a bit heavy. Let's see what's going on here. And then I'll do a black light test regardless. I know I have nothing to compare it to. These are things to look out for. If you're interested in getting it, hey, one pound, 3.9 ounces. Got this bad boy here. One pound, 3.9 ounces. Definitely made them right. All right. What's your take on this pollen shoe? Let me know what you think about this shoe. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. The shoe looks pretty good. Of course, I will not be wearing this shoe for what, three, four months? Or I'm not wearing it at all until the retail pair comes out so I can do a review on it so the bottom will be nice and clean so I can do a legitimate, you know, comparison to the retail pair. And let's see if uh, they'll make another batch with us. I'm sure they will with probably updated boxing and stuff like that. So maybe I might do a real versus fake fake. You guys never know. All right, like, comment, share, subscribe. What's your take on this shoe? I actually think they did a pretty good job. Let me put this black light on it to see if there's any pin marks on it. Let's see. I'm giving this shoe some praise. They've been like my... Uh, Hyper Royals, there were no pen marks on it. So they're getting better at it. All I can see is the pen mark with the tracing with the swoosh above the swoosh. And I think this one barely made it above the swoosh. And let's take a look at this one. Yeah, there goes pen marks. You got the pen. No, that's the stitching. No, we got pen marks. We got the pen marks here. And we got, yeah, that's it. Just the pin marks there. So not bad, not bad at all. I've seen worse. It's like those uh, 11s I just did the video on. So let me go back with my clothes and like, comment, share, subscribe. What's your take on the shoe? It's looking pretty good. Got different names, Bumblebee, Wu-Tang, whatever you want to call it, man. Air Jordan 1 Pollen. Fake version, replicated version, third-party factory rendition of the retail pair, official Nike pair, whatever you want to call it, just don't call it UA. It's your boy Jake signing out. <laughs> you guys take it easy.